Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello and welcome to this episode of our show. This is your host, Keith Doherty. Today, our special guest is top real estate agent Holly Barr of Sereno Group based out of San Jose, California. Since 2001, Holly has been a full-time, full-service realtor in love with her career and husband and family. Holly has been passionate about real estate since she was a child. While she was growing up, Holly's family bought and sold properties around Monterey, which exposed her to key aspects of real estate like negotiations, renovations, and staging. Holly has been a top producing realtor since then with over 130 transactions and 100 million in total sales. She lives and works in Willow Glen and helps people buy and sell all over Silicon Valley and Santa Clara County. With a master's degree in social work, she started Willow Glen Charm, facebook.com forward slash Willow Glen Charm, a Facebook page with over 72,000 fans in 2012. It is considered by many as the resource for all things happening in their neighborhood of approximately 100,000 residents. She hosted numerous successful events like the All Neighborhood Yard Sale every year with over 200 homes participating, neighborhood watch meetings, and Easter egg hunts with 2,000 plus participants. All right, with all that said, Holly, welcome to the show. Thanks, Keith. Happy to be here. Hey, Holly, if we could start with what led you into real estate? Was it something that you always knew you wanted to do or did you maybe stumble into it? I think it was something I always knew I wanted to do. My parents always bought and sold fixed up houses my whole life. I was sweeping out the <laughs> the old tenant and bringing in the new. So my whole life feels like I was going to be a realtor. Yeah, so, so it sounds like it kind of just raised you up into it. You didn't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went into uh, social work to start with, and, uh, yeah, it just didn't, wasn't, uh, didn't excite my soul, if you will. So I tried to go away from it, but it didn't work. <laughs> And I guess, Holly, could you talk a little bit about what personal attributes, traits, or qualities you think have most contributed to the success that you've had in real estate? I think it's a never-give-up attitude and always um, focus on service and what does that client need, that specific client, what do they need, what are they looking for, um, just trying to be aware of every piece of the transaction, every piece of the dan- dynamic of that family. So I think social work, being having a master's degree in social work has helps me to know how to get resources and how to listen and bring those all those pieces together that somebody when they're buying or selling really needs. Yeah, it seems at times that, you know, I guess with your social work would come into play when it seems like at times you might be a counselor and other times you might be an advisor. <laughs> to, exactly, to therapist. Own. Everybody needs a social worker, yeah. yeah. And do you think you could give our listeners an example of when these traits have played a role in your path towards success? So, yes, I had a client that uh, they were going through a divorce, which is always tricky, as you know, Um, and they just needed the resources to know, well, what's a good lawyer that I need to use? How do I deal with my child care issues while I'm going through this? And then when it all came together with their sale of their property, it turns out that the buyer, of course, backed out at the last minute, and then they all decided that they're going to go to court. So... A lot of resources came into play for this particular client, and a lot of my clients tend to need different resources that are kind of outside of the, the realm of a, what would one would think you would need for real estate. So whether it be <laughs> child care or puppy daycare or house cleaner or just, just a myriad of resources that I provide to my clients to kind of go above and beyond. And, uh, Holly, I think that, that obviously building a successful business uh, is not always a, uh, a smooth path. There's always bumps in the road as you're, as you're moving your way forward. So can you talk a little bit about some of the adversities or trials that you had to overcome in order to achieve your goals? I love this question. Um, I think for me, some of the bumps in the roads have been, quite honestly, people that, are, that don't want me to succeed, that were haters, if you will, and just kind of trying to tear me down and not believing in what I was doing because I'm kind of out of the box with my marketing and I do things um, a little more social worky, if you will, where I'm providing resources and I have a Facebook page that brings in different resources for the whole community. So 
some people didn't believe in that or didn't like it or whatever and saw the success happening and tried to tear me down. So I think that was my one of my biggest obstacles to overcome, and it's constant. It's not it's not overcome yet, right? It's, it, people are always just going to be trying to get you. Yeah, I think the the more successful you become, the more haters you get. I guess that comes with the <laughs> with the territory. Tell you what kept you going despite these obstacles as these things came up. You know, why didn't you give up? What was your driving force? You know, Keith, I really feel like I believe in what I'm doing, and I'm making a difference in not just my community and my um, the people that I'm working with. I, I feel like I'm doing the right thing, like going through and getting people that are attacking or hating me, I just let that go and I focus on the, the buyers and sellers that are super thrilled and, wow, you're so much better than my last agent and I can't believe you did this and I hold on to those statements and, and those Yelp reviews and those emails and just focus on, I really am doing a great job <laughs> at this and just focus on the positive. Excellent. And I guess kind of looking forward, what is your vision for your career and your business over the next five years? Honestly, it's keep doing what I'm doing. I really, really, really love it. I have a lot of passion for real estate um, and just making a difference out there. In the future, I feel like I'm going to be growing into a team to where I really focus on my strengths, which would be more working with a seller than a buyer. So I want to build out my buyer's team so they're all <laughs> providing the kind of service that I expect. And I fully vet all my people so they are high, high quality of service. But I think in five years, I'll have a bigger, stronger team. Excellent. And Holly, kind of on top of that, what do you feel is the best way that you market yourself as a real estate professional so that you can have continual growth? I think my growth comes from my Facebook presence. I have a Facebook page called Willow Glen Charm. It's got about 73,000 fans right now, and it's all things going on in my neighborhood of Willow Glen. So, and people feed me that information. So I'm constantly getting texts or instant messages or however they get it to me, phone calls of, hey, there's a helicopter flying over my street. Can you tell me what's going on with that? Or, hey, I heard about a break-in over here or this restaurant starting up or I'm doing this great fundraiser. Can you post about it? So it's a community page that I am in control of. And with that, I'm able to post my real estate listings, post what my needs are for my clients and get fantastic local resources for them. So I think that's going to be the, that's the one piece that I have that I've worked very, very hard at that I don't see anybody else doing. So that's how I feel my growth is going to keep perpetuating. Excellent. And I think sometimes when it comes to real estate agents, uh, people have a, some people have a certain perception of what agents actually do and what they bring to the table and the value they provide. So what do you think the biggest misconception or myth that people have about working with a real estate agent? I think the biggest myth is that we're only after our commission, that it's all about commission, and that's all we think about. And I'm sure there are agents that that is all they think about. I honestly don't count any of my chickens until they're hatched and I have the check in my hand. So, you know, you really got to look for that agent that fits what your style is and what your needs are. And let's say you get a call from a family member or a friend and they're in another state and they want to sell their home. And obviously with your experience and probably with your connections, you could look somebody up or do a referral, but from a general advice standpoint, what advice would you give them about selecting an agent that could best serve their needs? I always recommend to look for someone who uh, you connect with, that you your gut says, yep, this is a good person. Also, you want someone who has a track record, so look them up on Yelp or get some sort of referral from friends, family, anybody in the community that might have already worked with this person. And you want someone who's a strong negotiator, strong communication is key. So if you call them, do they call you back? Do they text you back? How fast? How how fast is their response time, essentially? Um, and what's their reputation? Excellent. And uh, obviously, you're you know based out of the uh, San Jose, California area. And if somebody's looking for real estate services or an agent uh, in that general area, uh, what's the best way somebody can find out more information about you and how you can help them? Probably my phone or email. So it's Holly at hollybar 2 rscom or 408-887. 3225, or you can go to Facebook at willowglencharm.com.
Excellent. Well, Holly, obviously we want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to come here today and share all your professional real estate experience with all of our listeners. And if you're listening and you want to learn more about Holly, obviously you can go to her website, like she mentioned. Also below this interview, we'll have a link to her site and any other contact information we have so that you can learn more about Holly and uh, see how she can assist you. So with that said, everybody, until our next show, have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Keith. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.